Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? So, oh, today we have another one of those videos that I'm making not necessarily because it will enrich in somebody's day, but much more so to make my life easier. Because this is something I still get blown up in my messages and in most of the chat rooms where I'm at uh, about guillotine winning the champion's vote. And, uh, well, basically, there are several groups of people, and uh, some of them are very, very, very salty. Okay, uh, so, once again, the reason for this video is just so I have somewhere where to direct people uh, that consistently keep asking me, what do I think about guillotine winning? Do I think it was legit, or Kabam did it on purpose, and they just buff whoever they want, and all that other stuff. Right, and I'm not even gonna lie, when I saw that, my first initial reaction was, yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> initially, definitely, within the first few minutes, I was like, with a significant amount of disbelief. But the more I thought about it, the more feasible it did, in fact, look like. Why? Well, there are several reasons, which uh, we're gonna go into the course of the video, which is also gonna be the main course of the video where I do think if Kabam does any of these votes in the future, they do probably, well, it would be better for everybody if they actually figure out a bit more transparent way how to do it and also add some sort of counts and trackers to them. Right, and uh, on my personal level, uh, I did vote for Ant-Man four times, once for Guillotine, because I wanted to get both of the cards there. I did think Ant-Man's gonna win by landslide, and uh, that was not also personally motivated kind of decision. I do have a six-star dupe Guillotine on my account, I do not have a six-star Ant-Man, but I still voted Ant-Man, and my reasons for that was uh, primarily the synergy with Nick Fury, uh, which currently is referred to as Nick Fury Quake synergy. But Ant-Man also fulfills the role of Quake in that synergy, and uh, as most of us suspect, Quake is not going to be available as a six-star champion in the game for probably a very long time, if ever, and uh, that would kind of future-proof that synergy if Ant-Man turned out to be good. So that was my main reason. But I'm not exactly upset that Guillotine has won. Again, on a personal level, I do like Guillotine a lot, she has been long been one of the kind of like coolest, smoothest champions to play with. And uh, I do have Dupe Six Star. She does have some very good synergy partners. And uh, I'm happy for Guillotine. Uh, I suppose I'm just happy either way that the champions are getting buffed. But there is this uh, idea how could how Guillotine won? If Ant Man was so far ahead, I think Ant Man. Previously had like 60% votes and Guillotine had like, what, 20 something percent votes or something like that. There was basically a huge, huge, huge lead. Well, that is also part of the reason why I think Guillotine won, because Guillotine was like this huge underdog and anybody who wanted to vote for Guillotine actually ended up putting in that effort, grinding and voting for Guillotine. Whereas I think a lot of people who uh, wanted Ant-Man to win, who were confident that Ant-Man is going to win, simply didn't bother grinding Arena, because that Arena came in a fairly bad time, when we all, all, we all were experiencing issues with Arenas, and there was tons of things to do in the game, and I think that is exactly how it happened. I think that people who wanted Ant-Man to get buffed just didn't grind the Arena, didn't actually vote, kind of like... Uh, being overconfident or being uh, lazy or whatever other word you can describe versus people who wanted guillotine to win were a lot more motivated to do everything they can and actually grind and play the game and uh, cast their votes because I know for a fact that I know a ton of people here are the percentages by the way I know a ton of people who wanted Antman to get buffed but simply didn't bother voting, because they were not asked to do the arena. And that is, I believe, exactly why Guillotine has won. Uh, yeah, because the whatever following Guillotine had, 
was just a lot more active and actually followed through. That being said, obviously, there's still a large group of people saying that it was rigged and Kabam wanted to buff guillotine uh, from the beginning and stuff like that. And again, I'm not even going to pretend. Initially, my initial reaction was exactly that. I was like, nah, I can't be. Uh, but again, uh, I don't think there is anything for them to benefit, so to speak, for doing so. And especially in this type of manner, because... Uh, They surely should have realized that a lot of people would not believe that this is happening. And if they actually did it, it would be kind of silly. Uh, that is the second time, however, when the community's favorite or whatever was like the more wanted option at larger parts of the community did not win these votes. And uh, I think that quite actively goes down to Kabam as well. Because the current process, at the very least here, was definitely quite misleading, where uh, everybody knew that Ant-Man is the favorite, but we had absolutely no live updates in between. Um, there is another thing to say that they locked, quote-unquote, locked the voting behind the arena, but I'm fine with that, because everybody was on the even playing field to grind that arena or not. It's up to you. But the second thing is, I'm 100% confident if there would be some sort of uh, tally kept track of or we either would have had a live leaderboard or we would receive an update once a week or every couple of days which champion is in the lead, so on and so forth, then the results would be significantly different. Whereas right now, again, I think uh, majority of the people wanted Ant-Man to get buffed and that is not the thing that's happening. Therefore, by kind of like definition, I don't think this reflects the wishes of the community. But at the same time, uh, people who wanted Ant-Man to win but didn't actually cast their own votes have nobody else to blame but themselves for, well, being lazy. And uh, again, for me personally, I don't think they rigged it. I think that it was just an case of people being overconfident or lazy and i think uh guillotine just can kind of had more active and loyal following if you will uh that actually followed through grinded the arena and again ultimately here is what kabam max says antman is it's not like antman isn't gonna get that buff you're just gonna have to wait somewhat longer for it and uh, there might be a silver lining here because i do sincerely believe that Ant-Man should also get his animations changed. And I think one of the coolest ways to rework Ant-Man would be either introducing pre-fights or him having some sort of modes where he could uh, gain different abilities based on what size he has. Like he could maybe become extra small character and get some sort of crit rate increase. Or he could become extra large character and gain some sort of attack increase. And that should also be reflected in the animations. Kind of imagine, mm, I don't know, not Mr. Fantastic, but kind of Kamal Khan, Mr. Fantastic, except the full body gross kind of stuff. I think it would be very cool where we could have a rocket raccoon sized Ant Man, or even smaller one, and uh, then we could have like a sentinel sized Ant Man. And for that, they would have to uh, change their animations. And that was one thing that they specifically said. The champion that wins this vote will have a full overhaul, but will not have the animations changed. And uh, in a very weird roundabout way, I think that this is actually for the better, because Guillotine's animations are already cool, smooth and slick, and uh, there's not much need to change anything. And Ant-Man, well... He definitely could use some VFX help. So my personal hope is that, okay, buff the guillotine, which is, again, a champion that I personally like and enjoy, and uh, it's a fairly special champion as Kabam's poster child, so to speak, and uh, liked champion and community, evidently so. And with Ant-Man, hopefully we can get a full-on animation change and an overhaul slightly later. Because, again, that's exactly what Kabam Mike says here. Remember that just because he didn't win doesn't mean he's off the buff list or anything. He just didn't get the fall buff spot. 
you still plan to update all the champions on that list. So Ant-Man is still gonna get that buff and hopefully sooner than later. But yeah, hopefully this will enable them to do a VFX update. Anyways, that is it. Those are my thoughts. Uh, again, initially my first reaction was uh, I smell bullshit. But the more I thought about it, the more it makes sense. And the more I understand why Guillotine won. Just because Ant-Man was such a huge favorite going in. That a lot of people were overconfident. Couldn't be bothered to grind the arena. Didn't vote for Ant-Man. And uh, yeah, so he didn't end up winning. Kind of makes sense. That being said, let me know what do you guys think, but please do keep it civil in the comment section, and just because you may not represent the same opinion as I do, there is no need to resort to some nasty sort of comments. Trust me, I'll reply back to some of you. <laughs> okay, that being said, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about